Hi there my fellow friends of YouTube, it's your boy Simo coming at you again with a new video that's short and sweet, just like me. A video of me reacting to a new movie trailer, you know, because that's totally new and original, right? So welcome, and if you're new to this channel, welcome. There's lots of things like this coming up, so I tend to make lots of videos of me reacting to weird stuff I find on the internet, along with the odd product reviews as well. So if you like what you see so far, and why wouldn't you, then make sure you hit that subscribe button because you know it helps me out massively and I really want to grow this channel and it's growing from strength to strength, actually doing quite well at the moment. So thank you for all of those who have hit that subscribe button. But of course, I'm greedy, so I would like some more. If you aren't, new to this channel and you like the look of it then why not hit that subscribe button and even the little bell icon as well because then you'll be notified every time I upload some new drivel um I mean content so this latest video as I mentioned is a movie trailer reaction now for those of you that don't know me all that well I am a child of the 80s and there were lots of really, really good films back in the 80s. One of which still makes me wet the bed to this day. I'm sorry, but it, it traumatized me as a child. Ghostbusters. Now, this film has many childhood memories for me. When I actually got out of the phase of not being able to open the fridge, <laughs> I actually grew up and watched Ghostbusters quite a lot. I enjoyed the films, the second one, maybe. I enjoyed the cartoons as well. And it was a big part of my life growing up. So when I heard that the director of the original, Ivan Reitman, his son announced that he was going to be making a new sequel film, not a reboot, less said about that the better, not a reboot, but a complete new continuation of the original two films. Of course, the child inside me, well, exploded with joy and happiness at the fact that I could watch a new sequel to my favourite childhood movie. And of course, things were great. It was on course to be released in June or July 2020, something like that, um, which was around the same sort of time that the original film came out, like also came out in June, July. Then Covid happened. Yeah. I know, it ruined everyone's plans, mine included. I was so excited to watch this film and it got delayed and delayed and delayed to the point that it eventually disappeared into complete and utter obscurity. Now, last night, and I mean last night as well, as we are talking right now, it is none other than the 27th of July, 2021. And last night, the 26th, Matt, Jason Reitman, the son of the original director of the original Ghostbusters films, announced on his Instagram that there would be a brand new trailer dropping at some point today. Well, alas my friends, that trailer has indeed dropped and I haven't watched it yet. It's been a struggle, I'll be honest, but I thought why not do a video of me reacting to it because I'm sure I will react like a little child. Here is a reaction video of me reacting to Ghostbusters Afterlife. Let's crack on and see if this lives up to my expectations. And they're pretty high. Okay, so set the scene. I've just spent the last, I don't know, two or three hours of my life getting this video up together, only to upload it to YouTube and for them to take it down straight away. All because Sony are filing copyright claims against every single person who uploads this video. Which is great, isn't it? I mean, you know, let's get people to review their video, drive up some excitement so that people will go and see this tremendous movie. And then you do that and you get taken down. So I've had to put some big words across the entire trailer. So apologies for that. If you want someone to blame, blame Sony. They're such nice people. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Right, so here we go. It's queued up and ready to go. Um, so uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> You're a great mom. I don't know. I'm fine with Trevor. But with Phoebe, she really keeps me on the outside. That's normal. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. <laughs> Maybe a new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. I just wish you'd get into some trouble. There's still time. Yeah. What are you doing 
here in Somerville anyway. We're completely broke, and our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're saying he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. You went with the station wagon? It's the only one that had an engine. What is happening here? Somehow, a town with no fault lines is shaking on a daily basis. Maybe it's the apocalypse. <laughs> Egon came out here for a reason. Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? You experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. You guys hear that? Something's coming. City took like the walking dead. Yes, go, go, go. we're ready to believe you. We're closed. Come on, you can't leave it like that. I, literally, you knew that the end of that, that was Ray picking up the phone in his uh, little bookshop that he was in in Ghostbusters 2, but come on. Just, I don't know what else I was expecting to see, but I mean, there were some really, really cool bits in there. Um, the first bit, let me just find it. These little mini puffs. I mean, this guy literally just gets annihilated by a cocktail umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that is that is brilliant. Some of the comedy elements of it, it it's Ghostbusters through and through. Then of course we have this pit and this pit as obviously we've seen it in the other trailer. Um but there there is something down there and we can all guess who it is. Something's coming. Um there is no doubt in my mind that the main villain of this film is going to be the same villain from the first one, which is Gozer the Gazarian. We're obviously going to have Gozer in some form. We're going to have terror dogs. I mean, I kind of guessed that from the first trailer. This clip kind of asserts the whole, it's definitely a terror dog. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. She's a dog. And then... What is this thing? The, the, the original Ghostbusters didn't have this? What is this? <laughs> oh, it looks like me when I'm hungry. But what is this thing? This thing's cool. It's a little radio controlled ecto trap. And I can totally imagine people like me making one of those with their 3D printer. So yes, um, you know, uh, let me know what you guys thought of the trailer. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video as well. You know, you can totally do that. That's totally a thing. So yeah, that was my reaction to the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer number two. So thank you very much for watching this video. Now I mentioned this at the very beginning of the video. I am indeed a desperate man. So if you liked this video and you want to see more, and there are lots of other videos after FYI. Make sure you check out some of my others and if you want to be notified of when I upload new content then simply hit that subscribe button because it does help me out and I know I'm repeating myself now but it really does otherwise I wouldn't say it. So thank you very much for watching this short and sweet video. I hope you enjoyed it and until next time my friends take it easy.